Good day, Andrew. Good day, Natalie. Good day, Nathan. Bella, are you here? How about you, Chloe and Blake? Are you with us? This is the picture that we're going to be looking at today. And the name of the picture is Utensils de Cuisine. Something like that. It's French. The name of the person who painted this is Jean-Baptiste Simeon Chardin. And what did he look like, you ask? Let me show you what he looked like. This is his picture. That's what the, doesn't he look funny? Yes. I'm not sure whether he was just making sure he didn't get paint on himself or what, but he does look a little funny. All right, so now let's look at this picture and we'll look at our vocabulary. We've been studying the elements of art. We have three that we've got. The element of line, the element of shape, and the element of color. And we're going to look at those with this particular picture. We'll start with line. Okay, here we go. Line. What kind of lines do we see in this picture? Let's look, let's look, let's look. Let's start with diagonal. Do you see diagonal lines in this one? Mm, I see one right here. There's a diagonal there. Do you see some over there? Okay, there's one there. Okay, thank you. Awesome. How about horizontal lines? Let's look for horizontal lines. There's right there. And the horizontal line back behind the pot. Well, that one's a little curved. All right, so now we have vertical lines. Vertical lines are up and down. Do we see any vertical lines? That's a little curved too. How about this one right here? That's vertical. Yeah. yeah, that's vertical. Those are our lines. Okay, now let's look at shapes. Remember, organic shapes are like circles. Is there any circles in here? That's not a circle. This is an oval. That is an oval. That's an organic shape. Yes, this is an oval, the top of it, organic shape. Geometric shapes are like squares or something like that not too many organic shapes. There's almost a diamond going on right there. That's an organic shape. And we've also studied color. Remember color? Yeah. Two different kinds of colors that we've got um, the, in the spectrum. We've got our cool colors, which are green, blue, purples. And we got our warm colors, which are orange and yellow and some purples and reds. Cool colors, warm colors. What do we got in this picture? Which one? Warm or cool? What do you think? Warm and cool. Warm and cool. That's what Andrew I thinks. Cool and warm back there. Okay. We've got warm going on right in here, don't we? This is warm right here. This is a little in the warm spectrum right here. The yeah. background is cool colors. Notice how we have both of them going on at the same time? Warm and cool. No, I'm telling people things right now. All right. They're all here visiting. This is the way it is. We're going into our project right now. We are doing our, this is the project. We are doing um, fruit. That's what it is. We've not sure whether it's an orange, a lemon, or a grapefruit. You decide, okay? This uh, could be. So anyways, still life is what we're talking about. That's what we did last time. That's what the picture was that we were talking about with uh, Jean-Baptiste. And we're going to do still life picture here. And so the first thing that we need is a messy mat. Where is our messy mat? Here's a messy mat. Good deal. Now we need to have a piece of paper to paint on. I already did one, but I'm going to show you how to do this again. All right. You need some kind of a stencil, and I have this masking tape type of a thing that I'm using, and it's going to work out really perfect, and I'll show you why. We're going to go around the outside of it and around the inside of it, and now we have, oops, fix it. We have two circles going on right now, and it gives us just a little bit of a rind going on. And now we are going to do another one. And this is the outside of the orange or lemon or whatever it is. Okay, see, this one is the inside and that's the outside. See right here? This is the inside and that's the outside. We're going to have an in middle and we're going to put a couple of lines going out, sort of like a sun, okay? 
But we're not going to go all the way to the end because if you ever cut one of those grapefruits up, it doesn't really look like it goes all the way to the end. So, you know, it could go a little closer, but it's not all the way to the end. And then when you cut it, there's always a seed. So let's put a seed in here somewhere, like right there. So now what you're going to need is you're going to need some water and a paintbrush and some watercolor paints. Now all we're going to use is the yellow because we're going to try and make us a grapefruit right here. All right, so we have to wake up the oh, brush, bristles, feral or danger zone, and the handle. Thank you. So hold it like this way. Wake up your paint. Wakey, 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 wakey. And now we are going to quickly go through and paint the inside. We don't want to paint that white on the very, very inside because that's sort of like a seed. We don't want to paint this other seed and we don't want to paint the rind. Okay, so we're going to go through and it turned it a little bit green. So maybe we've got us a lime going on here instead of a um, grapefruit. Yeah, so all right, here we go. All right, all right, there we go, there we go, and it is pretty close to finished. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take that and put it aside, rinse out our brush, use our paper towel, but we don't have one right here, so I'll just go and use the sides of my messy mat, and we're going to get our background colors. We're going to use blue and white, and we're going to mix them, mix them, mix them, mix them, and we see how the color is changing just a little bit? Oh, that's so cool. When you put it on, you can just go all the way to the edges and go really close and try not to go over top of your lemon or orange or whatever it is you decided that you're making, and you come from this side, and you go all the way around. And then you go around, around, around. Take a break. Ooh, that was a lot to try and keep it nice and calm. All right, and we keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And that way. Go, 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 go. So what you want to do is you want to paint all the way to the edge of your paper is what you're going to want to do. And so that this looks like a still life. And when, when you're all through with this, and I'm not going to paint all the way to the edge of the paper on this one, because I've already done one already. So I'll show you what it looks like right here. All right, let me move this out of the way. Let's see once what it looks like over here. Okay. So this is the, it's all the way to the edge of the paper. And I used my black marker and I highlighted what it was that I drew. And so there you have your still life painting, which Jean-Baptiste, the fellow that did the, the uh, utensils in the kitchen is what it is in English. He uh, did a lot of uh, still life. And so here you go, the still life painting. I hope you enjoyed doing it. See you next time. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to stop for a minute.